Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this session, I shall be explaining you an another application layer protocol. The name of the protocol is Telnet. Telnet word is derived from these two words, terminal, network. T-E-L from terminal and N-E-T from the other word, network. So, it becomes Telnet. What is the functionality? Remote login. You want to log into a remote machine. Now, to log into a remote machine, suppose if this is your local machine and you want to log into an another machine called as remote login, you need to have the Telnet program installed at your machine and you need to have the server program installed at the other remote machine. Still, if you want to see whether it is installed or not, you can carry out these steps. You just type at the command prompt the Telnet, the word Telnet. If you are getting an error not recognized as an internal or external command, then you can always what internal or external command, the error will be like this. So that means the Telnet client program is not installed in your machine, but you can easily install very simple steps also to install the Telnet program. Just go to the control panel, there you can type in the search box, Windows features on or off, you can search for this. Once you get that, a dialog box for this Windows features will appear. Simply scroll because there are other programs also in which you are not interested. Keep scrolling down. You will find a particular program called as Telnet Client. You check that box. Okay, you put a tick. That means you want you are interested in installing. Check that box. Click OK. Then a message will appear. It says that the Windows uh, completed the required changes. Then your Telnet program is installed in your machine. And similarly, the server program should also get installed at the remote machine. And you should have a account in the server program. You should have, sorry, you should have an account in the remote machine also. Unless you are an authorized user, you will not be allowed to access that remote machine. So, you should have an account in the remote machine. Now, you start typing in your local machine how to log in. You just try to use at the dollar prompt the word telnet followed by what the IP address of the uh, remote machine. Once you type this, you will, uh, you will be prompted for to type the login and password. Definitely the remote machine will try to see that whether this is an authorized user or not. So this login and password, if it is found correct, then you are allowed to access that remote machine. You can check the uh, files that are present in the directory. You can see what uh, you can try to access that remote machine with whatever uh, pro this one. Uh, uh, information you wanted from that machine, you can extract that information. So, definitely it is mainly used what to sit at one place, try to log into some other machine at conveniently from your place. So, basically used to manage errors in the network. We have other softwares also presently. If you look, you can simply download the team viewer. Team viewer uses the port number 5938, Telnet uses the port number 23. Team viewer is very convenient also because it is graphical user interface. It is having a graphical user. Whereas this telnet is what the command line interface. So I think whether you people have experience with team viewer or not, you can definitely do that. Install team viewer at your uh, machine. You ask your fr friend also to install the team viewer. You can have the hold of your friend's system. This I have already experienced just two months back when I was having an error in my machine. I was actually uh, accessing a portal from the university wherein I was not literally able to enter some data which was showing some errors. When I communicated with the university, they were not able to figure out what type of error I am facing. Then finally, the team uh, that is the technical team at the university asked me to download a particular version of team viewer i installed that then i downloaded the team viewer then finally i gave my login and password to them so that they were able to completely get hold of my machine and they were able to figure out where exactly was the problem where exactly was the error and they could rectify that so this way remote logging is a very important and essential application that is uh, required nowadays and Telnet is not a secured protocol. This protocol is getting re is replaced with another protocol called as SSH, Secure Shell Protocol. The main reason is the Telnet whatever messages that login and password are not encrypted. Hence, it is prone to what hacking. To overcome that problem only, you need security in that protocol and Telnet is replaced with SSH protocol. And one more important part of the Telnet program, uh, Telnet protocol you need to know is, see when you are having in the, in your, you want to connect to a remote machine and you are in the local, you are having a particular computer character set at your local machine. Basically, when I say ca computer character set at the local machine, it means, see, you have certain tokens. 
every operating you are having one particular operating system in, and the other remote machine is uh, having an another operating system so the character the tokens tokens are what special combination of characters for end of the file always in dos you are using control z but in unix it is uh, control d is used so the these tokens are different at the remote machines and at the local machines to translate this only you require what nvt character set is implemented here between the local and the remote how does it work you have your local computer set the telnet client at your system will convert this local character set into what into a form which is understandable universally at in the internet and that that is what it is the nvt character set we call it as network virtual terminal character set and this once again has to get translated to what to a character set which is understandable by the remote machine for that telnet server at the remote machine takes care of that it will what it will translate the nvt character set into a character set set which is understandable by the remote machine so this is what is the use of nvt character set that is present here so telnet simply remember with these two words remote logging you actually there are several other protocols also but the the main protocols which you people have to know and in most of the exams and universities the functioning of application layer protocols that are asked frequently is all about ftp http email dns telnet so hope i have uh, given the explanation for all these protocols in the application layer and hope this session is useful to you all thank you bye bye take care